there's always some kind of fish hanging out right here. It's crappie, there's some spotted bass, smallmouth bass. You just don't, when you, when you fish this right here, you don't ever know what you're gonna catch. I'm just telling you, don't. Mm -mm. Them crappie, if they're gonna be in here, they're gonna be right over in that slack water. After, oh Lord, I thought it right on a bunch, bunch of leaves, I don't know. I don't know if it'd go down or not. I ain't one on it. There he is, too. What is it? Look at here. Lordy mercy. I'm gonna, oh Lord, look at here, Jack Salmon. Look at there. Hey, that's 15 inch eater right there, boy. I guarantee you, that's, oh Lord, how much? See, that's a little bitty man I just throwed out there. That's a mean fish right there, boy. Look at it. Ain't he dangerous looking? <laughs> look at it. Yep. He's dangerous looking. That in there, it gotta be 15 inches. We're gonna see. It is. Listen here, 15 inches. He's going home with me. Oh Lord, I had him hooked. Good. Look at him flare out there. Look like a big rattlesnake head. Look at them teeth down in there. Well, I'll be a pile of them right there. I can't get the hook out though. Anybody says them little hooks don't hold good, don't know. Oh Lord, I ain't never fished with them. I'm going to have to get my pliers. That's the meanest looking fish in the river right there. He look like he bites you. Well, I guess he would. Let's measure him up here. I ain't caught one of these in a long time. Got to be 15 inches. <laughs> and they got, he's about 14 three quarters. Boy, he lucky. He pretty lucky. Oh yeah, rattlesnake fish. Go back down in there. I'm, I'm kind of anxious to get back out there and try to catch another one then. Just pulled up here this hole. I've been all up and down Tennessee River up all the way up to the Gunnerville Down. And uh, I was on my way back and I thought, well, I'll just stop right in here and hit this, hit this lick. Yeah, I'm gonna put this little man on. I caught that on the little man. They like best. They like best stacked up over here like, oh well, Lord, it ain't no telling. Oh, I thought it right there exactly was I caught that, that sauger right there. We call them Jack Salmons around here. Sauger, Jack Salmon, whatever you want to call them. I guess the real name is Jack Salmon. I mean sauger. Lord, tore up now. And boy, they got this current going. I went all the way up to Gunnersville Dam up there and they had, a, they had like four or five floodgates open. So I couldn't fish up there, so. And I didn't have, I didn't get down here to about lunch, so it gets dark at four o'clock. Right now it's about three. You know, I may have one on here now. I believe I do. Is this a fish? Is this a fish? Oh, he let it go. Sure did, he'll come back and get it if he didn't pull it off a hook. So there he come back and got it. We think get him. Let's see what it is. Feel like crappie. I'm not joking. Look at here. Look at that with a red eye. Red eye bass. See that red eye ball right there? Uh huh. Well, that's a pretty little thing. That's some good eating right there. I got different size manners in there today because I didn't know what I was going to be fishing. Might be one on here now. I believe it is. Yeah, he's one on here. And I got him too. Yep, let's see what this is. Oh yeah! <laughs> he ain't a big one, but he's a good one. Telling you. With three throws, three bites. Come on up here, hound dog. Oh Lord, he's going out through yonder. Come on up here. Yeah. Yeah, nice little spotted bass. A lot of spotted bass in here. But look at that y'all that's a pretty little fish yep sure is there's a lot of them around here and i'm using my ducket pole here it's a six foot eight medium heavy that's a johnny mars rail with 30 pound braid and that leader i got tied on out Johnny. that's a 12 pound test mono berkeley sure is and i got a little number two hook a little number two hook tied on the end of the two split shots on that whoop See that? Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on there. He put the hook on him. Oh yeah! Let's see what this is. Pretty good fish. Oh Lord, yeah, now. Look at here. Nice body bass. I'm gonna just lift him up in there. Oh Lord, mercy. That's the biggest one we caught so far today. Eh, maybe pound and a half, two pounder. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just fun fishing. Sometimes it's nice just to go catch fish and don't have to worry about catching big fish. Just go fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get to fish much more this week. We got some a lot of windy, nasty weather coming in. And this river right here, this Tennessee River, can get rough, boy, when we get some strong winds, especially coming up out of the west, coming that way. Oh, we got another fish on here. Yep, we do. Uh oh, now, uh oh, now, y'all. Yeah. This here might be a sure enough. This might be a dip netter. Oh my gosh. Well, it's borderline. Maybe I won't break my pole and pull him up here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there. Sun's going down over yonder. You know what, folks? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back in the morning. This ain't the end of the video. I'm going to come back in the morning and we're going to finish this video up. I think there's some nice fish in here. I want to catch some of them. See you in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Yeah. Okay, y'all can see. We're back at the same place we was at yesterday evening. Only today, we got plenty of time to fish. I just hope them fish was in here like it was. Now, well, I hope they bite, and I know the fish gonna be in here. I just hope they bite in here, boy. Oh, Lord. Hey, let me tell you something else, y'all. Right here, I've caught a lot of crappie right here. Just accidentally catch them. I really like to get lucky and catch crappie. That's what I like to do. I don't know. The way I fish, really, uh, it's not really the way you're supposed to crappie fish. <laughs> but, hey, I do get lucky every now and then. Okay, so I'm on a... I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna spot like it right here. Get my pole out and everything. And I'm gonna go and get that net ready. And uh, see if we can catch one right here. Now we caught them here yesterday evening. Oh Lord, we caught a sauger yesterday evening. We caught a white bass yesterday evening. We caught spotted bass. And I caught that red eye bass. We caught four species yesterday. Right here, yeah. And I know there's some more in here. So let's get with it, yeah. Now this net right here I got, let me show you. I got that uh, Academy Sports. What I like about this, see, you can just fold it up. See there, you ain't got a big long handle, you flopping around all in the boat. So this net right here, that worked pretty good. Now we're gonna just set that right there and get ready. Now I'm gonna show you my setup here. Now I might change this as we go along here. Right now I just got this little number two hook on, which is a small hook, which <laughs> the way I fish, I don't like using big hooks. And right up above that hook right there, I got two little split shots. I don't know how big they are. Not real big. Let's get us one of these poor little minners out of here. That's what we want. This size right here. See this little, see this little gizzard fit right there. That's what, that's what they want to eat. Hook him up through the lip, just like that right there. Throw it out there. Just, I'm just throwing it out there and letting it go down. And just drift, bounce down through here, just like it's right here. Oh, we done, we done got one on. First throw. Oh, I missed him. Goodness, that ain't no good way to start out today. Uh-uh. Sure ain't. And right now, I am spot locked with this Ultrax trailer motor right here. The current's coming like this, so I'm just spot locked right here. Just sitting here fishing. I like fishing man-made structure. And, and this right here is definitely <laughs> man-made structure here on this river. Uh, and we're gonna do a little bit of that today. I got like three different places I'm gonna try if we don't catch many here. Let's throw, let's just throw back yonder and see what happens. There's one land right there. Got a lot of seagulls flying around out here, so there's a lot of bait around. If that bait wasn't around out here in this river, you wouldn't, them seagulls wouldn't be here. I can tell you that right now. Them seagulls, but they got a keen eye. You can throw a little old minner out. That thing won't float 20 yards down through you. On them seagulls right there, they'll eyeball it and come down there and get it. Just like there ain't nothing to it. Then they'll fight over it. There'll be three seagulls fighting over one little manner. Uh-oh, we got one on. <laughs> we do. He's the one who got it, swimming right to the boat with it. Doggone it, he's on it. He is. Let's put the hook on him. There he is, too. Oh, Lord, I got him now. <laughs> yeah. What is it? I hope it's a big... <gasps> Oh, I thought that was crappy. Y'all scared me to death. Scared me to death, but it ain't. Boy, I tell you what, it's a nice fish, y'all. Yeah. Yep, that's a nice fish. Look at that nice fish, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. That water's so clear down in there. Look at that. Boy, I'm telling you, that's a fine fish right there. I'm going to have to get down here and thumb him up. Yeah. Come on down. I'm going to thumb you up. Yeah, that's the first fish we caught today down here. Oh yeah, yes sir, 
nice, beautiful spotted bass. I tell you what, I figured we done caught four or five now, but I've been here about 15 minutes. This is the first one. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm gonna fish here a little while longer, but I'm gonna go to mine. We're going somewhere else, but I wasn't gonna live here until I caught at least one. And now I'm gonna turn this one loose. I just like to catch them. That's, I just love catching fish. I do. Go back down in there, you pretty thing. You, you went right back down in there. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's worth getting up this morning. I've been up since three. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Got thinking about this place. Yeah, I just, I don't know why I thought it was a crappie. I guess I had crappie on my mind. Yeah, I got them new bubble scales, so if we catch any big fish, we're gonna win today. That's for sure. Bubba, I ain't getting them out till we catch something. If I get them scales out and get them ready, we won't catch nothing. I guarantee you that, so I ain't doing it. I ain't going, uh -huh. I ain't jinxing myself. I jinxed myself with that stinking banana at the time I done that video. I had some bad luck after that. I didn't know that that banana video was gonna have some long lasting after effects. You know, I didn't even know a banana was bad luck to have on the boat we. And the way that uh, come about is back in the 1700s, they would uh, transport uh, bananas on these ships from, from you know from one country to another across the ocean and snakes and bugs and different things would get in them a bunch of bananas and they they'd bring that in there now if I now I googled this up right about it. it's just what so wherever they took them bananas we got a fish on here oh, wherever they took them bananas they ended up taking vermins with them and uh, so it got to be a, a thing about bananas being on a boat was bad luck because it brought bad things with it. Now, there he is. Now this here could be a crappie. I'm, I'm not joking with you. This could be a crappie just a way it hit uh, and, or, or something. No, oh Lord, it ain't it. It's another spotted bass. That's okay. Boy, he just, man, he hit just like a crappie. And there's a big boulder right down there. Them crappie will get in behind. Boy, I was hoping that'd be a crappie, but there's a nice little spot. But oh yes, I don't know. I probably ain't gonna get lucky enough to catch no crappie. There's a fish. You just see there? Oh God, he got it. There was a crappie. I bet you. I could just fell. He just tapped on it, and he got the matter. Lord have mercy. Goodness, I'm getting cold. I didn't bring nothing to put on these ears of mine. I got some pretty good size ears. I know they catch a lot of wind when I'm going down the river. Oh, we definitely got a fish on now. This, uh, this here, I felt it when I when I picked up on it. Felt how it felt. It felt like a heavy fish. Oh yeah. There he is. Let's see what this is. Yeah, let's see what this is. I think this is a crappie. <laughs> I doubt it, but oh, it's a little bass. Just a little bass. Still fun to catch, though. That's a little old bitty largemouth. Bless his heart. Yeah. Hey, I just love to catch fish. You know, I love to catch big fish. Of course, you know who don't. But just these little old fish, fun to catch. I mean. Enough. There was one. Oh Lord, that was a peck. Now that felt like a crappie. I'm not joking with you now. Just throw right up there. We ain't throw it up there in a little while. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a crappie in here, but it ain't it ain't working. Or a sogger. I got a place we're getting ready to go where I know there's some big fish and I'm kind of saving some of that bigger bait for that. Okay. Hey, one just snatched on it, y'all. I just moved up here to this other man-made structure right here as you can tell I don't know if he's still on it or not oh yeah he's still on it and here we go uh oh now this is a good fish here yeah see what it is oh here we go here we go here we go now uh-huh big small mouth I think that's what it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we might have to get old Bubba out on this. Nah, maybe not. I don't. Boy, that's a pretty fish right there. 
<laughs> that's a pretty fish that's a mean mouth actually i'll show you what i mean i'll show you what i mean by a mean mouth see that lateral line down the middle it's, it's like a spotted bass it goes all the way down small mouth it'll go all the way across like a tiger stripes all the way down through there but this one here's got a lateral line right down the middle right there and they got a little tongue patch right there on their tongue like a spot yeah it's pretty fish probably about three pounds <laughs> look at that thing did y'all see that <laughs> that fish bit me on the finger for it before it took off i don't blame her i would too oh goodness y'all see that i mean he just jumped on it with both feet He sure did. I'm gonna go and put the hook on it. Well, nope, didn't let him carry it long enough. Oh, he come back and got it. There he is. Now this one, this one, this near may, this near. Uh, you know what? I don't know what this is. I just don't feel like no bass, but now it could be. Oh, this is a big fish. You know what I think it is? And they say, oh my gosh, giant, giant. And I'm, look, look, look what a big fish. Oh my gosh, I got to get this net up here. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is a flat-footed big one. I don't even know what it is. If it's a small mouth, I'm not, oh Lord, no. It, this one here, Bubba's going, I'm going to introduce Bubba to this one. Yeah, we're going to weigh this fish. This is a great big spotted bass. I'm talking about a big one. My gosh, what a big spotted bass. Get in that net, you big hound dog. Look at that, what one. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely going to weigh this one here. I got to get old Bubba out with this one. It's a big spotted bass. I got Bubba scales here just to, just to weigh these fish on video. We can see what they weigh. I don't get them out until I catch a big one because it's bad luck to get them out before you catch a big one. Okay, here we go. Bubba, see what this big spotted bass weigh. Okay, three pound, 12 ounces. I can see it right there. Three pound, 12 ounces. Oh, Bubba. We'll turn this big pretty thing loose. Boy, it's a good solid fish right there. It's a damn good fighting fish there. Look here. See, he absolutely demolished that gizzard, poor gizzard chad right there. And I'm about to start that. Sure am. I'm going to tear these beanie weenies up. A little cracker in there with a bowl, Lord. That juice is good. <laughs> 